right the length of uh, of the second arm of a clock is 1.5 cm what is the angular velocity and the speed of the tip of the arm okay first of all we need to know what is this uh, second arm okay we have three kinds of arm over here uh, okay let us identify we have the we have the hour arm we have the hour arm oh sorry <laughs> we have the hour arm we have the minute arm a uh, minute arm um me um sorry a minute arm and also the second arm uh, that shows the second and this is not this second is not what it means by second uh. it's not the this second uh. it's not the second but it's about uh, the time uh, time in second uh, time in second yeah so we have the hour arm your unit is hour uh, minute arm unit in minute and second arm means unit in second uh, okay so so now we are talking about this second arm so we are using this arm okay the second arm okay second arm so first of all what do we know about the second arm the first thing we should know is about the period we should know about the period for second arm the period for second arm uh, how long does it take for the second arm to rotate one revolution how long does it take for the second arm to make one revolution 60 seconds isn't it uh, so the period the period for second arm should be 60 seconds to make one revolution uh, let's talk about our arm also okay let's talk about our arm also how long does the our arm to, to, to make one revolution how long uh, let's talk about the period for this uh, period for this hour arm uh, hour arm it takes how many how many uh, hours are there 12 hours isn't it from one to uh, this one is one one cycle is 12 hour right one second one uh, i mean one revolution is 12 hour uh, so for the hour arm to make one revolution is actually 12 hour it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yeah so there are 12 hour so for our arm to make one revolution to make to make one revolution yeah uh, is uh, 12 hour uh, that's the period for our arm okay one cycle is 12 hour how about minute minute huh? minute arm how long does it take for the minute arm to make one revolution one cycle uh it is um uh, uh, how long does it does the one does the minute arm uh, it takes to make one revolution how long uh how many how many minutes are there in one revolution uh okay uh we have five isn't it uh, sorry uh we have uh, five ten fifteen uh so here thirty minutes semi cycle is uh thirty minutes uh, one circle is 60 minutes uh, okay so we have uh, 60 uh, one cycle is 60 minutes uh, yeah or six, uh, one cycle is 60 second one cycle is 60 second for second arm uh, one cycle is 12 hour you know uh, 12 hour for our arm don't say 24 hour huh? <laughs> many many students say oh our arm is 24 hour that is one day one day one day it takes two cycle one day it takes two cycle uh, 12 hour 12 hour two cycle to make one day uh, so that that's not the revolution yeah don't make mistake uh, if minute arm it is uh, 60 minute yeah because it's uh, zero, 0 5 10 15 so up to here 30 45 60 uh, so it's 60 minute so the period for the period for uh, the minute arm is uh, 60 minutes to make one revolution ah so you see if this question is about second arm second arm so we no need to bother about the other arms but if let's say the question it changed question uh, to uh, uh, it, let's say it changed the question it asking about minute arm instead or hour arm instead 
Ah, uh, these are the period you should know. Yeah, period. Uh, for hour arm is twelve hour. The period for minute arm is sixty minute, and the period for second arm is sixty second. Okay, you should know each of them. Yeah, just understand your clock. That's enough. Just just understand your clock. Okay. So right now we are using only this one. Okay. Now, one thing we know about second arm, the period is 60 seconds. So, once you know this, you can do the rest. Alright? You just apply formula for all the rest. Okay. So, I uh, just want to uh, transfer this one a bit below here. Okay. Now, uh, what happened? Okay. Uh, sorry. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's continue. Alright? Uh, Alright. Okay, what is the angular velocity? Right. Um, what is the angular velocity? So, angular velocity is actually about uh, omega. Omega. And what is the speed of the tip? Uh, this one is V. Yeah, it's V. Okay, first we look at question A. How to find omega? Okay, how omega for the second arm? Uh, we know the period already, isn't it? So, omega is actually 2 pi f. Yeah, or 2 pi over period uh, because we know that frequency is 1 over period. Okay, so just use this formula. We have the period already, 60 seconds. So, uh, 2 pi over uh, 60 seconds, uh, which is uh, above this radian, 2 pi. Yeah? 2 pi radian over 60 seconds. So, what's the answer we get? Let's calculate. Ah, okay, so the answer is uh, uh, 0. Point uh, 105 0 0.105 uh, radian per second uh, that's, that's the answer is that correct? yes, that's correct, good ok now ok, now let's look at the next question Yeah, the next question uh, what's the speed of the tip of the arm? Uh, speed of the tip, that means uh, ok, if we look closely Speed, the tip, what is the tip? Where is the tip? Tip means the end. The tip means uh, this one, uh, this is the tip. Yeah, This is the tip. Uh, let me show you. Uh. Uh, this is the tip. Uh, okay, the tip, that means the, the end of the arm. Yeah, so how long it, uh, how, what is the speed of it? What's the speed of the tip? That means uh, how fast it moves. How fast does the tip of it? Ah, what's the V? Yeah, you want to know what is the V? How does how fast does the tip move? Huh? along the you know how fast it move along the circle? Ah, how fast the tip move? Okay, ah, how fast the tip move? Yeah, we want to find the V here. So how to find the V here? Yeah, how to find the V here? Ah, so he give you the length. Yeah, he give you the length of the second arm is 1.5 cm. Oh, cm. Be careful. It is cm. Cm, you need to convert to meter. So, it's exponent negative 2. You remember to put that. Huh? So, now I want to find the, the, the... Okay, he said the length of the second arm. So, the length of it means the radius. The length is of the second arm is actually the, the radius. Uh, the radius. Uh, so, he give you the radius already here. 1.5 cm. Okay, so we already got the radius, uh, which is uh, 1.5 cm. Okay, uh, so I want to find the V how? Uh, the formula, we have the formula also. Uh, B, so the formula is V, because we already have omega. Uh, we have omega. So sometimes the question B will use back the same answer. Okay, sometimes the question B will use back the same answer from question A. Uh, so, v e, for B is, uh, want to find V, V equal to R omega. We already have the omega. Uh, just substitute inside, R is the length of the second arm. Yeah? Uh, so, just, just calculate. Alright? The R is what? 1.5 cm. So, centimeter, centi is exponent negative 2. We must convert to SI unit. Okay? Uh, and then multiply omega is 0 0.105 okay so calculate and see and what is the answer uh, let's calculate yeah let's calculate 
Ah, okay. So the answer is uh, 1.575. 1.575 exponent negative 3. Uh, this one velocity is a is a linear linear velocity. Just now it's angular velocity. Angular we use radian. Yeah, angular we use radian. But if uh, linear we use meter. Yeah, we use meter. So it is a meter per second. Okay, meter per second. Uh, we use meter. Uh, okay, so. Uh, if linear, we use meter. If angle, angular, we use radian. So is that correct? Uh, 1.575, 1.575, negative 3. That's correct. Okay, of the arm. Um, so that's correct, the answer. Okay.